second part of the install window where it says getting files ready for installation. Uh, up to this time, everything is going uh, quite well. No any and uh, no error messages and nothing bad. Um, it's quite fast. Um, if you have ever installed Windows 7, I can tell you that the uh, process here is actually faster than the one in Windows 7. So uh, it's really nice to see that they've improved the uh, install process in Windows 8. And of course, you are watching the uh, dual boot option, which uh, required you to uh, download the ISO file and burn it on a DVD. Don't forget to take note of the product key. And now we are installing features, and uh, this is a part where the computer is now working on its own. All files are downloaded to the hard drive. Things are really, really going fast here. Actually, really, really nice to see that uh, the install is going quite fast. And here you have the option to restart, so it's going to restart the computer. What's going to happen now is that uh, it's going to reboot and um, go into a reboot options of Windows 8. As you see here, it's pulling directly to your Windows 8 install. So you should see that little fishy and that little pinwheel turning at the bottom um, as you are continuing the Windows 8.1 preview install process. The uh, English 32-bit version is uh, 2.5 gigabyte, so um, you need a, uh, if you have a limited bandwidth, uh, just be careful because it is uh, a big package to download. And um, it can take anywhere from uh, a few hours if you have a slow computer, uh, slow internet connection. Uh, in my case, I'm in uh, 60 megabit internet access. So um, it was a matter of uh, minutes. Uh, the download was uh, long because it seems that uh, the uh, Microsoft website is really, really um, slowed down by the um, process of um, everybody wanting to have this uh, free copy. And here we have the first window where it says um, you have a choice between Windows 7 and Windows 8. In my case, because I have a Windows 7 install, if you had any other operating system, it would show up there. So um, if you have to choose, choose Windows 8. After that, you have the continuing process of Windows 8 install. Don't remove the DVD, that's very important. Uh, the DVD is needed because lots and lots of files are still on the DVD. This is the part where it says devices, getting devices ready. So it's installing basically some device drivers for um, the different software, hardware of your computer so that every, everything works. Once you get past the uh, file install of the uh, Windows install, you see that everything is actually moving along at a pretty good speed. If you want to compare your install speed, uh, keep in mind that this is a dual core computer. It runs at 2.8 gigahertz. And, um, of course, we're installing the 32-bit version. 
So uh, if you have something, a computer that's similar to mine, you know that uh, you can compare if it's faster or slower to install in your computer. Um, the older the computer, the uh, probably the slower the install time. So uh, if you have an older computer than this dual core I'm using, probably it's going to take longer than me. If you have something really new, um, you know, a Core i5, i7 machine, you probably will have a um, faster install than me as possible. Um, so you just leave things going as they go. Want it to reboot the second time? Of course, your DVD is in the drive, and it will ask you again. Press any key to start from DVD. Don't press any key. That's very important. Because if you do press the key, you'll be restarting the uh, DVD. Just let it go. So if you're wondering, wondering when Windows 8.1 official will start up, uh, will be available, um, well, the release date of August 1st has been uh, sent out by uh, Paul Perron. And um, so I think that could be a fairly correct assumption. So we're restarting again over here, as you can see. Um, restarting the computer after probably devices have been installed. Like I said, every time the computer starts, don't press any keys. Leave the computer boot up in itself because um, you don't want to. You don't want to. anything to the install. So we are rebooting after the devices have installed. If you're following the install at the same time that you are doing your own, uh, what's cool about YouTube videos is you can pause. If my install is faster than yours, just make a pause. Of course, you've got the options, Windows 8.1 preview. That's what you will be clicking because that's where you're going for now. If you're dual booting, you'll see both operating system, your old and new operating system show up. So on YouTube, you can pause if you want and you know take it easy. Just continue the video when you can. If everything's doing what you see here, you know that it's basically working, and it's like basically doing what it should. That's uh, a good sign. And here we are, personalized. So here we are, all personalized with Tech Guy Montreal. And choose uh, maybe a lighter color, or hmm, green. That's way too much. Uh, green, green's not bad actually, I like that. So let's uh, continue to click. Just enter your name, choose a background color, and click next. You have two ways now of actually installing your um, settings. It says you can express settings, which automatically connects everything and does what it think is the best for you. Or you can customize if you want to have anything more personal. Uh, if you're not really used to playing around computers and um, or just don't want to take too much time, um, well, just click ex use the express settings. And here, next we'll set up your account. There it goes. We are continuing. Now, if you have a Microsoft account, this is what's happening. Um, usually, the uh, computer really wants you to log in your Microsoft account. So I'll use my 
Microsoft account that I um, usually use for Windows. And then you enter your password. <laughs> 